the problem with science fiction. That's what I'm saying. Problem with science fiction. I always loved science fiction my whole life, but they always got it wrong. Because they always showed all this incredible modern stuff, which we now have. What they never showed was all the crap from the past and still be clogging up the system. Yeah, there's no episode of Star Trek where they find asbestos on the Enterprise. You know? <laughs> Future in the past. Everyone's in one of those factions. Everyone. I always thought I was in the future faction. That's what I always thought. I'm a modern man, you know, but I don't know. I must be wedded to the past on some level. I must be. I've still got a Hotmail account. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Hotmail still. I'm loyal. Anyone here on Hotmail? Genuinely, you're on Hotmail. Welcome, honestly. It is so rare that Amish people come to comedy. Thank you so much for being here. Are you about my age? Are you similar age to me? No, not at all. How old are you? Far beyond my age. Cool, great, great spirit. <laughs> all I remember is when we, I, was, I was 14 years old. 14 years old, that's how long I've had this thing. 14, we were put into a shit computer room in our school and the lesson was get a Hotmail account. That was the whole lesson, that took an hour. <laughs> and then all my friends changed theirs. Of course they did, you're 14, you do something so juvenile. You have to change it. You can't apply for a job if your contact is bonabitch2k at hotmail.com. <laughs> but I'm, lo I'm loyal to Hotmail. I'm, I'm loyal. I'm loyal. Hotmail, hotmail are, in are interesting. They're making a lot of claims at the moment. A lot of claims. They made one recently where they said, Hotmail are the only email provider who will never sell your data. Which is, I mean, that would be so great, wouldn't it? If anyone cared about their data. I mean, if anyone even knew what that meant, what a great gesture, because no one cares. No, we're told every day to care. You should be pissed off. Companies are stealing your data from Facebook. They're using it to manipulate elections. No, but people were more pissed off when you two gave them an album. Right, that was it. <laughs> But like that was a violation. <laughs> but I care. I care because of my situation. Because whenever there's a breach, a big data breach, every six months they seem to be happening now, we get all the emails, we get all the regular emails from regular companies that we sign up to. So, your, your, your privacy is paramount to everyone here at Deliveroo. Is it really? <laughs> really? What a claim from Deliveroo. A company that once posted a cheese toasty through my letterbox. What a claim. <laughs> But as I said, I've had the same email address since I was 14. So I get thousands of emails. Thousands. Everything I've ever signed up for in my life comes through. Whole eras of my life I'd forgotten about, or frankly wanted to forget about. Your privacy is paramount to everyone here at the Lost Profits merchandise store, please. Please let me forget, please. It's interesting, isn't it? Isn't it interesting? It's interesting. Just how many companies have my email address? How many companies I've given my email address to? It shows how quickly our relationship with the internet has changed. Because it wasn't so long ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago, there'd be stuff in the news, stuff in the papers, every day going, don't put any personal details on the internet. Don't give them your real name. Don't even look at it, you swine. <laughs> and now, I mean, I don't know about you, I'm at a point where I am actively annoyed if I have to type in my whole bank card <laughs> number. Like, <laughs> What do you mean you don't have all my bank details on site? What sort of evil corporation are you? <laughs> That's how fast it changes. But it's, it's, it's Facebook, they, they, they get the main ones. Zuckerberg's in court right now. Zuckerberg, I mean, it, this, always. Is he always gonna be in court? Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> do you want know the truth? I feel sorry for Mark Zuckerberg. I really do. I feel so very sorry for him. Because first of all, with Facebook, it's free. It's free. Really? Do you think you get anything in this life for free without a sinister motive? Honestly. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, clap away. Yeah. Did you hear that, Himmler? <laughs> take that, Himmler! <laughs> Keep your Nazi music to yourself. It's one bunker you'll never take. <laughs> cut that. Cut that, Joe. I'd say cut that. <laughs> It's free. Also, I just, I feel sorry for him because he gets all the blame, Mark Zuckerberg. He gets all the blame, not Facebook, not the idea of data harvesting him personally. 
They called him paranoid in court yesterday. Yes, sir. You're paranoid, sir. I was like, yeah. I'd be, I'd be paranoid if I was Mark Zuckerberg. Wouldn't you? He was 19 years of age when he founded Facebook. 19. By the time he was 25, a Hollywood film came out where the plot was Mark Zuckerberg is a cunt. But of course, <laughs> of course he's paranoid. 